So it's not bad, it's smooth, but his legs, like he is more lateral when he's moving. So they're almost coming off the ground at the same time, but it's not like a hard pace or anything because the back one's landing before the front one is. is and then what's he do as you go faster what you think is like your running walk so he's kind of step pace and it's smooth but what can i do to help him get yes out of that? but you'll see so keep going for a minute because then you'll get to see it on the video video see how his head's not shaking it's just completely like straight yeah. when they're doing their flat walk and their running walk they're going to shake their head so now slow them back down and go back to that first speed you were going and then you'll see just a little bit of head shake in there but it's not a lot because he's not reaching up that much with his hind quarters i'm staring at his hind legs for a second Okay, so now stop him first. Bring his head up just a little bit higher. Yep, and then I would shorten your reins some so it's easier to do. Yep. So if he's getting it way down, you take one rein, go towards the sky. If you do both reins, you know, he might think he's supposed to put his head down. So you want to lift it up and then relax it again. Well, now we pulled on it too much. Okay. <laughs> yep. So now he lost his speed. So see, it's multitasking. It's hard to do all this at the same time. Yeah, I would still shorten your reins a little bit more. Yeah. So his head's still too low. That's better, yep. It was up and then you pulled and then it went right back down again. But that's better, yep. Go boy. So stop for a second, give him a break so he knows that's the right thing. Yep, and as you go around, if you can hit the both the poles, that would be better. If he throws his head, I want you to hold because he's not he's not shaking it with the rhythm. He's actually like pulling on the bit. So right now his head is getting too low. Yep, and then more leg. Now his head's going way down too far. Yep. More, uh, hang on, I'm gonna give you a Pull stick. Him down a little bit. Now we got a stick. So there, his head's too low. So just one rein, not both. Because most of them have been taught to put their head down when you pull on both reins. So if you pull both reins to get his head up, they tuck their head under more because they think that's what they're supposed to do. St still too low. So now I want you to think, slow down a little bit. We want energy from him so he's awake and using himself, but we don't want to go faster. Yep, so get his head up more more give him a little tap if he won't bring it back up and your reins are way too long so shorten them back up at least for this stage of you two working together yep now pull up a little bit on your right rein your outside rein yep but don't hold it it's up and then let go because if you pull it up and hold the lean on it again because his head went right back down yep now you lost your speed yeah we don't want a lot faster we just want some energy that's better there you're good. Now it's starting to go low, his head. So one rein, yep, and then leave him alone. If it goes back down, you do it again. His head's too low. You have the opposite of most people's problems, yep. That's better. So there he's shaking his head, see his ears flopping? Uh -huh. So that's a good sign, because then he's relaxing more into the gate. So now stop him again, give him another break, because he did the right thing. Now, as you stop, the next time you stop, hold until his head drops down. Because when you stop, he pulls on the bit, and that's why he's doing it, because then you release. So he goes, I stop, I pull on the bit, 
she lets go. So we want to stop, get his head down, don't have him pull, then we release. Because okay. he's shaking his head, that's good. Yep. That's fine. Yep. And you look good. Your body looks good. You're sitting up nice and straight. Now he got just a little slower as he got over by the trailer. Now he went too fast. <laughs> so whatever amount of leg you gave him, give him less next time if he slows down. That's good. Yep, that's fine. Now his head's getting a little low. Yep, but remember, pick it up and then put your hand back down because if you pick it up and hold, he'll tuck it in more. It's just a quick kind of jab towards the sky like you got to be on your hand. Okay. That's really good. That's much better. He figured it out. So there you kind of held your outside rein a little bit long and he tucked his head down too far again. Yep. He's trying to lift up the pop in one. So just try to do it quick, kind of like your hands on fire. I know it's hard, but it's just a quick jab. So it kind of wakes them up and they're like, what? And then you just leave them alone. That's good. And you actually kept the same rhythm now all the way around. <laughs> As I said, and he changed, yes. He's like, is that all you want? So, yep, keep going. I was gonna say something, then he drifted and kind of looked in. Yep. So now what I want you to do is go a tiny bit faster, not much. And now we might have to help him. So we want it slow enough that he keeps shaking his head. That's better. Right there was pretty good. Good. Now it's getting too low again. And then be careful with your reins. They look like they've gotten too long. That's better with his head. A little bit slower, just a tiny bit because he's losing his head shake. Yep. Now his head's too low again. So pick him back up. That's good, you shortened your reins on your own. Now his head's too low again. Yep, bring it up a little bit higher. There you go. Good, now stop him and give him another break, but make him put his head down. So stop, hold, wait till he's not pulling on you. Try to stop moving your hands, yep. So he was pulling and then you were pulling. So if he pulls and you pulls, there will never be a release. Okay. So when you stop, you just hold and then he can fight himself and you just stay stable. And then when he's not pulling, then release. Okay. But if he... That's good, yep. And then just keep that speed all the way around your circle. As he gets to the poles, you might have to push a little bit with your legs so he doesn't slow down. But you'll see his ears starting to flop a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we just gotta be careful if his head gets down too low. There it's getting a little too low. So just a quick jet, that's it. And then leave him alone. If it doesn't work, then try the other rein. There his head's back up, so that's good. Good boy, yep. Oh, so he, he slowed down in front of the pole. So he's trying to take the easy way. He kind of cut in and he slowed down. So he's a very smart horse. So try to get him more, you know, either in the middle or the other side of the pole. So if he cuts, you'll still get over it. And then more leg as you get in front of the pole. Yep, and if he's throwing his head, you just hold. You just don't want to give in to him. That's good. Yep, so he slowed down again. So it was better, you got more to the center, but I, we wanna give a little bit more leg in front of that pole. Bring his head up a little bit higher. Yep, and it's hard. So as we bring his head up, we just gotta apply that leg so he doesn't think he's supposed to stop. Now think of going forward. Much better. Yep, now stop him and give him a break because he did the right thing and we know he didn't want to do it. So we want to reward him for it and hold till he puts his head down. If he's not putting his head down, tighten your fingers and make a fist and just hold. And then try not to move anymore. All right, good enough. Feel him pulling on me okay, so then go ahead what and What you want to do is bring his head up a little bit. Don't go faster, but add more leg because we want him to use his hind quarter more. So you're going to kind of push for energy and then contain it. That was good. Yep. 
Good. So go ahead and keep the speed. He sped up a little bit, but that's okay. Bring his head up a tiny bit higher. Yep. Good. You were good. And then you turn, you pulled to turn and he tucked his nose back in. That's better. Good speed. Watch his head. It's getting a little low, but now the pole. So now go forward. <laughs> it's a lot to do at the same time. Yep, now slow him back down just a little. So a little squeeze and relax and then get his head back up because he's got it on the ground. Try it again. Yep, one hander then the other if he doesn't do it. Get it back up. Yep, good job. Good, and then forward when you see the poles. That was good. And then stop again. Okay, so now do you notice he's changed speed? Like you rode forward over the uh, poles, which was fine, but you're going a different speed than what you started out at. Okay, so I would shorten your reins up and then that's a good speed right there. So try and just keep that except for the poles if he slows down. Yep. So now just push him out. Make sure he doesn't cut in. Yep. And anytime you go to push him out, just hold a little bit so he doesn't speed up. That's good. It's much better. Yep. And as you're getting the pull, if you feel him slowing down, you know, you can even just wiggle the stick sometimes. Sometimes you don't even have to use leg. Okay. So now, well, he sped up. So just keep that speed. That's okay. And then shorten the reins. Because now he, when your reins get long, his head gets way down there. Okay. Yep. A little bit more bend right there. Yeah, and then watch his head. It's okay, but we don't want it any lower. That's very nice. Really good job. Good, yep. Yeah. So he, even though he's 22 at times, like he looks phenomenal. He shakes his head, he's carrying it well and he's flopping his ears. So he's really engaging himself and then it goes away. But that's normal when we just, you know, started working on it. Okay. But it shows us that even though he's older, he's, he's got a lot in there that he's probably hidden from you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So when he does that, just hold and then add a little bit more leg. Cause he does it every time he gets over by the other horse. So he's just telling you like, Hey, I want to go over there. And you just got to tell him, no, you got to keep working. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And I would shorten up your reins again. That's it. Yeah. Just a little bit more energy. Not so much like a lot faster, just more leg to make him engage himself. Yeah. And then get that head back up, hold him. Yep. And then keep turning, apply your left leg. That's it. So now he's changed his gait. He's no longer shaking his head because he's kind of goofing around. So I would shorten your reins up and just try to get him reorganized again. Now a little bit faster, just a tiny bit. That's better, yeah. So when he gets faster, he's still smooth. It's just that he's changing gait and we don't want him to do that unless we ask him to change. Get his head, yep. That's very nice right there. Just keep them going.
Good. And then press your left leg against him so you're kind of blocking him. Good. But he gated very nicely when he thought he was going to that other horse. <laughs> so you saw what he can do. It's now making him do that and then stopping him from speeding up more because he did a very nice gait and then the closer he got to the horse, the faster he got and he changed his gait. So make sure your reins are short enough and then you want to block him and then keep this gait right here. Yeah, and remember you have your stick. So if he's not responding, just wiggle that. Sometimes we don't even have to hit them. They just got to know we have it. That's very nice. So I'd stop and give him a break.